We're in Mexico City in the subway and part of the subway is there's a uh, little Aztec uh, altar place. I guess when they couldn't make it all the way to the pyramids they would stop here and do their human sacrifice. But here it is. It's still preserved. Let's see if we can walk all the way around it. Maybe you can see there at the bottom, it has the uh, serpent head on there. Which most of them, all of them do, they either have a serpent winding all around through the bottom of them or serpent heads somewhere in the vicinity. So that's who this is too. It's not to any uh, Christian goddess that's going to come later on. and You know, it's the Virgin Mary before she actually got here. That's a bunch of baloney from the... Uh, camp of the, the Luciferians, those that follow Lucifer, these were Satan devil worshippers, no doubt about it. They were converted. They weren't the predecessors to Christianity. The Holy Mother came and smashed the head of the serpent in Mexico also. And these guys made these things quite sturdy. As you can see, that's pretty powerful stone. Let me go around to the other side. Here's the little Mexican garden that they planted in here. Put the uh, complimentary trash thrown in. A requisite in Mexico, gotta trash everything out. The city's quite dirty with trash, unfortunately. If you can see there, there's the nopales behind those uh, spear-like things. And so that's the uh, Mexican national food. Cactus that can be boiled and eaten and mixed with meat and such. It's high in protein. But this is a little minor altar here, for, probably for convenience sake, when they couldn't uh, make it all the way up to their uh, huge pyramids for sacrifice. Here's a depiction of what Mexico City looked like when Hernan Cortez came into it. It was very clean and had people sweeping the streets all the time. Montezuma was their king and he required them to work all the time and uh, cook food and clean, keep the place clean and serve their so-called nobility. Here's a mural depicting how the indigenous found the eagle killing the serpent on the Maguey uh, cactus. That's the one with the green and then the little red flowers, brown and red flowers on it. That's a Maguey plant. And here they are discovering where the greatest uh, city in the world would be at the end of time as per the legend. And, uh, it was stated that whichever of the people survived, that would be the name of the nation. And the people that survived were the Mexicas. And it became known as Mexico. It used to be uh, with a J instead of an X, but over time the Spaniards changed it to an X. But its original name is Mexico. M-E-J-I-C-O. Thank you.
And here's another mural of a couple of Aztec warriors and the Mexican people, you know, doing stuff, you know, making them, uh, making things and serving food. And you can see that they've got geese or ducks or something there in their marketplace and also flowers. And here's a depiction in the same mural of Hernan Cortez meeting with Montezuma. Of course, the devil imitates what's in heaven. You can see that he's holding his scepter and has his royal robes on to show his divinity and such. And it actually was mocking God. So he wasn't uh, anything but a Satan devil worshiper. He wasn't a pagan Satan devil worshiper. They, they uh, offer human sacrifice to Lucifer. And in this depiction, they show some of the uh, Aztecs killing some of the Spaniards. And the Spaniards apparently were able to kill that one laying on the ground there. And I don't know what that Spaniard there is doing. He's probably saying his prayers or something. Yeah, he's probably saying his prayers because he knows they're going to kill him next. What I figure. And then if you can uh, see if there's a different depiction of what these pictures represent on the glass and they're not you can't see them very much very well and it says that this was a um, Zocalo Mexico de Noctitlan in the year 1500 Zocalo Mexico de Noctitlan The little devil dance here. recognize that beat of the drums. It's the same one they use in a lot of rap music. I guess this girl probably just got out of uh, Nova Soto Mass here. Getting a little extra blessing from the, from the uh, witchcraft there. Make sure she's uh, covered all bases. We're next to the cathedral in Mexico City. That's why I say that. Here's a woman giving an Aztec blessing, so-called, to somebody here. She's 
even giving him some kind of anointing. That's how stupid people have gotten. People will fall for anything it looks like. ritual she's doing. She must make pretty good money at it. It looks like she's got a pretty good line going too. People actually line up for this, pay for it. Here is a temple that they call the Templo Mayor, close to the uh, Basilica here. Uh, not the Basilica, but the cathedral here in Mexico City. As you can see the cathedral up there, the towers of it. And then just across is this major temple from the Aztecs. The, I was here about six years ago visiting this place, and it was only about... Um, a foot and a half out of the ground so it's been slowly pushing its way up and as you can see directly ahead of where I'm filming that's a serpent's head another serpent's head and the theme is serpents because they belong to Lucifer the Aztecs believed uh, and sacrificed to Lucifer It's been slowly pushing its way up above ground. Here's a side view of those serpent's heads on the ma uh, major uh, temple. And here's another side view of a serpent's head of one of the rooms apparently that they had aside from the uh, major temple. This must have been an ancient walkway. <laughs> and here's the head of the giant serpent that surrounds the major temple. You can see that round disc there. It has a lot of Aztec symbols, but I can't get up high enough to take a good shoot to get it head on, but there it is. And here's pretty much a head-on view of the, of the temple. 
as close as I can get because they won't let you get in any further to it. So you can see the serpent head there, one in the distance, and then these other effigies that are there. There's another serpent's head. Here's a little writing in English. This is quite high up from the last time I saw it. It must be uh, maybe about 16 feet to the top up there. Used to be only about a foot and a half out of the ground when I first saw it, like I said, about six years ago. And these steps here must have led up to a, a sacrificing platform. Here's some effigies that were found. Un 
cachito. This must have been a major sacrificing area here. As you can see the effigy sitting there as they would have had to walk up those steps straight ahead. And then those, what they would call altars, they probably offered uh, sacrifices two at a time since there's two parts of the altar. drain pipe that drains this area that was built in the early 1900s to accommodate drain fall. But it, this thing crisscrosses it so they had to fix it right. Now let's see what this says here. Straight ahead, that looks to be another little effigy there. Thank you. 
So you can see in the desert, in the distance there, there's another uh, snake effigy in different places where they had rooms with multi-purpose. And those steps there, I think somehow maybe they might have gone up to some kind of platform at one time, who knows. But they're definitely steps, very small, but they're definitely steps. Some more uh, serpents heads. This must be a little channel where blood ran down. More often they ran channels for blood to flow from their altars so that they wouldn't have a problem eliminating the blood, having to sop it up. They just built a little channel like this one apparently, from what I understand. And then from that channel it goes down into this little building and there was rooms there. Maybe somebody collected the blood there and used it for something.
¿Qué horas son, por favor? Ahorita las 12 y 45. Todavía tengo tiempo, entonces. Sí. Tengo que salir de mi hotel a las 12. ¿Viva Jorge Cuba? ¿Mande? Gracias. Lo agradezco mucho.
Thank you. Well, I guess this little altar proves that Mexicans don't build anything straight, level, or plumb. People toss coins in that little well hole down there. I guess if you make your coin there, a little Aztec demon pops up. <laughs> 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 
major temple. <coughs> I guess I'll have to buy a... Uh, Cada uno por quince, tres. Okay. ¿Y están imprimidos en México? Okay, no quiero China, right? Ok, no muy bien. Qué, qué bueno. Que tengas buen día, jovencita. Ok, bonito día a usted. See what we have in here. Here's some fossils that have been found during the excavation site. Looks like a duck to me with that long beak. Hopefully somebody can translate this, put it on the YouTube that I've been setting on. I guess this is a wall of skulls that was, uh, or effigies of skulls that was dug up and put in this museum here for people to see it.
Here's two more serpent heads. And another bust of something. You know, that would probably make a good coffee cup now that I notice it. Except it didn't, yeah. Yeah, I don't have a handle, but. Here's some sea things that were discovered in the area, apparently. look like serpents right there now they look at them more closely they must have been used to stab or something looks like that one's a knife for sure <coughs> and it says that they're wooden artifacts Oh, these are the remains of an eagle. Must have been somebody's pet because they have those little bracelets on the ankles.
quite a pretty big symbol with a lot of intricate stuff to it. These are uh, ancient uh, ornaments made of gold. <laughs> this is uh, effigies of the rain god. Oh, there's more up here. This is a pretty big museum. Here's the cathedral, presidential palace represented, the area around it. At the time this was made, the Templo Mayor was only that far above the ground. It wasn't as high as it is today, as you saw earlier. It's a censer. I guess the devil taught them a lot of what's in heaven and had them apply it in their rituals and stuff. Lucifer still retained his knowledge, a lot of it. God in his mercy didn't take it completely away from him.
tiene todo, no necesariamente yo la representación, pero tiene todo un simbolismo, puede ser el cuerpo de caracol, puede ser la, lo que decíamos de la biblioteca, puede ser una biblia, la palabra, es un elemento que es un elemento. I guess these were used to impale people during some of their rituals, uh, the spikes there. And that was the, those are the things that they would hit them with over on that wall over there. And then they would impale whoever they wanted to impale on these.
señor, por favor. Oh. No podemos traerla atrás. Me voy a ver más gordo. No hay problema, aquí no vemos eso. Okay. Vemos la seguridad de todo. Ok, muy bien, gracias. Por favor, gracias. Okay. Y que no vayamos... esto, por favor, sí, y claro. lo muevo. Y que no nos vayamos a golpear algo, alguna pieza. Imagínense, zona federal. Sale muy caro los daños aquí. Y ni tengo cinco centavos. Exactamente, okay. señor. Gracias, Entonces, que Dios te bendiga. Okay. Okay, I just got chewed out for the guard for having my backpack here in front of me. I mean in back of me instead of in front of me, so I moved it up to the front here. They don't want me to inadvertently hit any of these priceless treasures. And I told her I don't have two nickels to rub together so they wouldn't get much. She said, okay, put it up front. what the major temple used to look like once upon a time. Está bien, los niños no hacen de tesoro. Gracias. Son los adultos que hacen. Este, que los niños no toquen las piezas, por favor, señor. Gracias, que Dios bendiga tu familia, joven. Hopefully somebody can translate this. This guy's in the top of this thing. Two little Mexican girls having their picture taken there. See little turtles back on this guy. Wow, that took a lot of expertise in carving. intricate carving on there. Wow. The Aztecs had seals like uh, in uh, the Roman days and Greek and all that stuff in the Eastern Hemisphere. Those are the seals that when they issued an order, apparently, they just stamped it on the thing, on the order.
Here's a very intricate mosaic here. Hopefully you can see the little images that are in it. Hello. 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 Yes. You have to say hello to me. Hello, I can't hear you. Oh, yes, I can. How are you doing? Good, thanks. I'm just here in the uh, Aztec ruins making a film for Pablo the Mexican Productions. So how's your day? Good. Okay, go ahead. I'll pretend that, that I know. <laughs> right. That doesn't make any difference. <laughs> Why, are you worried? <laughs> no, hopefully not. Me too. So we're in the same boat. Which way are we going to row? <laughs> okay, good, thanks. Yeah, I know. I'm in good company, right? So you're just hit throwing these softballs to me three at a time, aren't you? Okay, go ahead, shoot. I told you I'd make pretend I knew something. Right. Oh, okay, I got it. So, but his losers can't do it. Right. Okay. Good. That's what I was telling you. Yeah. Poor Padre. So, all right, call me back in 10 minutes because I'm still filming. 10 minutes. Be sure I can't call off. Okay? All right, talk in 10 minutes. Bye-bye. Let's see if we can find where number one is here to start. Uh, where's number one? Where's number one? And I'll take it down to a graph. I see number two and three. Wow. 9, 10, 12, 19, 23. Oh, there's number one right there. That's number one. You can go up to two and three and everything. All them other guys you can see. And this is the Aztec expansion into Mexico, which is what it means. So we got that. And then we got this one. And this little girl is helping point the way. <laughs> okay. 
Now, number one is there. You could just go down the list there. Number 15. down the road there. I don't have any idea what this means, so we're filming it. But it does show, of course, what I mean, the Aztec expansion. These must be the cities that they expanded. It's the Aztec expansion into Mexico. So he did it. Well, let's go back to the Aztec expansion, which is that. And we'll come down here so that we can catch number 30, way over here in the corner. Here. That's number 30, so way up in the corner, which is kind of far away from their main body, which is right up through here, as you can see. So they did apparently travel far and wide across Mexico. Another serpent's head. Oh, wow, these things are quite elaborate. Carved out of stone. It's got quite intricate carving in it. Wow. And then this, this looks like a, a skeleton with a human spine that they have mounted. That guy right there in the back don't look like a happy camper. He looks like he's pretty mean.
and this is pretty much uh, the end of the tour as I'm beginning to run out of battery power here. So just quickly, quickly run by. Let's see what these guys are. Hopefully somebody can translate this. You know, this thing says the God of the earth opens his mouth and he eats the blood of the many that are uh, killed in this uh, war. It's the first paragraph. Excuse me, put it on a minute. get up high here for catching these guys before I completely run out of battery. Here's some more effigies.
And this is the Eagle Warrior. There's another shot of the Eagle Warrior there. Well, even look at the closet there on his calves. The eagle claws. And this concludes the um, trip through the Aztec ruins in Mexico City by the Presidential Palace and the Roman Catholic Cathedral. And I'd like to thank the bishop for having the bells ring during the time that Pablo the Mexican Productions was outside filming this. This is a official Pablo the Mexican production. Please say a Hail Mary for that bishop, the priest and the nuns that work for him. I'd like to thank him very much for ringing those bells.